Hey guys, this is Karan from Tech Amigo here and in today's video we are going to see the installation of the Android 7.1 that is CM14.1 for the Eureka device which is the latest version for the Eureka device by so far and in my last video I showed you how to enable the Volt in the Eureka devices which are running on MIUI 8 ROM. So in today's video, I am going to show you the installation of the 14.1 along with the enabling of Volt for the 14.1. So the required files for that are the CM14.1 zip file itself. I will provide all the download link in the description box below. And uh, let me show you the file. Here it is, the CM14.1 and the Android G app for 7.1. You, so you need to download both this version and place them in your SD card. So let's get started with the installation. Okay, let's get started with the first step. Now the first step is to enter into the recovery mode of your device. So I will just power up the device and enter into the recovery mode. To enter into the recovery mode, just hold these three buttons that is the power up, down and the power button at the same time. So here we are in the recovery mode. Now the first step is that to wipe the cache and everything that is in our system currently running. Whether it is CM13, 12, whatever you are running. So we have to wipe up that all the thing first. So the uh, primary step, wiping out all the cache, system data, everything. So after you have done with this uh, wiping procedure, you need to download another file which is required for uh, installing the modem that is the uh, I'm bolt modem which is required for the installation or for the calling from the geo sim whatever sim 4g sim that you have which currently we are having only geo sim now after you have done that just download the file and switch off your device and enter into the fast boot mode in your device now i will show you that how to enter into fast boot mode that is the second step of our procedure so let's get started so after the completion of the first step, now you have to do is that come out of the recovery mode and completely switch off your device. Now the second step is to go into the fast boot mode. So to go into the fast boot mode, just hold, uh, get your USB cable here and uh, connect the another end to your laptop or PC whatever you have. Now while connecting it to the your device, hold your power, uh, sorry, volume up button and uh, just plug in the USB cable again along with it. So you will see the red light going along and you will be entered into the fast boot mode. So now the important step that is installation of the modern zip file. Now I have I will provide a download link for the uh, installation of that zip file in the description box below. So make sure you download that file. Now the file might look like this. So this is the file, the latest non-HLOS. Now this is the uh, file which will be required uh, for the installation of the modem in our uh, CM14.1. So just enter, uh, just download the file, extract in the folder and uh, enter into that folder. Now the second, uh, now the here we have to hold the shift button and uh, press the right mouse click. Now select open command window here option. Now you have to paste a command over here. I will provide the command in the description box below. Just after you have done this, just hit enter. So here it is, the modem has been installed in your device. Now you can disconnect your phone with the uh, PC and just install the Android 14.1 which, uh, which we already have placed in our SD card. Okay, now third and the final step is the installation of the CM14.1. So just enter into the recovery mode again. So here we are in the recovery mode. Now go to install and locate your CM 14.1 file. Uh, here it must be in share it. Files and uh, here it is. So just select and add more zips, the gapp file and just complete the installation procedure. 
So here it is. We are done with the installation of the CM14.1 and the G apps. Now just simply reboot the system. Now the reboot or the initial uh, setup might take some time. So I'll just skip this part and directly move to the part where the initial setup goes through. So here is the setup page. Now we have to just run through it. I will just skip or be, uh, fast forward this part and just show you the final output. So the final installation or you can say the final setup of the CM14.1 is complete. Now you can see the volt is enabled in our device. You can see a small sign here called as HD. That means the volt is enabled in your device. Now let's see, try calling someone. Currently I don't have any number in this since it is a newly freshly installed uh, ROM. So you can see that the call is going without any problem. So if I had a number, so let's see if I have a number. Okay, I have bunch of numbers around here. Let's try calling some. So here you can see the phone is going correctly without any problem. Now the great part about this ROM is that uh, you can actually use uh, the, all, all the defaults which were in the CM14 are now covered up in CM14.1. Uh, you can uh, record videos and, uh, uh, and the video recording actually works in this one. Not unlike or unless the last one in which the video recording was not possible. So you can just switch into the video mode and just take the video around here. Just a sample. Now, if I check the gallery, you can see that the video is appearing. That means all the defaults which were present in the CM14 are now cover up in the CM14.1. So you can see all the faults of CM14 are pretty much covered up in the CM14.1. And I strongly recommend that you use this one because this is the latest version of the Android and has all the workings uh, going on perfectly fine. And uh, you can see even if you uh, don't worry if you don't see your LTE symbol because HD symbol and even if your LTE doesn't appear your net is going to work perfectly fine. So this was it for the video and if you, this video helped you just hit the like button below and share it among your friends. And people who are using the MIUI 8 ROM in your Eureka I will leave the link in the description box if you want to know how the Volt should be enabled in MIUI 8. And if you want to get further updates from this channel just hit the subscribe button below. and. Uh, Thanks for watching guys, so see you until next time.